the greatest dancers live semi-final kicked off in style on Saturday night, and saw Strictly Come Dancing pro Pasha Kovalev perform for the final time with his co-stars. And dance captain Cheryl drove hands wild as she performed alongside the dancer, 39, in a very raunchy routine that saw her fellow judges Odie Mabuse and Matthew Morrison dancing alongside them. The singer, 35, was dressed in sparkly leotard which had a fringed skirt that gave the performance a glamorous flair as she took part in a Latin dance with Pasha. The pros began the performance clad in tight black suits for the dance, which the girls then ripped off to reveal glittery ensembles underneath. Their skirts boasted 100,000 sequins, and the shoes were specially made for each female dancer, while it looked like the dance was themed around girl power. Cheryl was then led by Pasha in a Latin-themed performance, in what was his last TV performance with the Strictly Pros after announcing earlier this week that he would be quitting the show. After their group routine, Pasha paid an emotional tribute to his former colleagues as he gushed, as you might know 2018 was my last year in Strictly, but I'm so excited to share this beautiful stage with my Strictly family one more time. Fans went wild as they watched the performance taking to Twitter to talk about how happy they were to see the two groups join forces. One user wrote excitedly, Woo legendary Strictly Come Dancers is here, that absolutely nice. Sick. While another person showed their passion, as they said, OMG Strictly. Get back in my life face I PLS. This collab was unreal, sick. Meanwhile, one Twitter user was especially impressed by Cheryl's part in the dance, as they gushed. At Cheryl official is incredible. Oh. My. God. Sick. Meanwhile fellow judge Odie broke down in tears over her group KLA's performance which saw the group of girls perform with props for the first time and receive a score of 80.5% from the audience. The Strictly Pro, 28, began crying as she gave her critique to the dance troupe after their performance, as she said, I know how hard it is and I know how hard they worked. As she began to cry she said sorry, before she continued candidly, I get so nervous when KLA dances, they get overwhelmed by everyone. They can't do splits, they can't stand on their heads and jumping like everyone else does but they dance and deliver Latin and dance. As she continued to shed tears over the group, she concluded, you push yourselves, you used the umbrellas, I love you, never forget that. I love you very much. While Matthew admitted it wasn't his favorite performance from them, he added, it was great seeing them use props, and also seeing you try things that we've never seen from you guys. It's all stuff we've never seen you do before, and in that sense you are completely fearless. Cheryl then went on, as she added, girls I thought your choreography has gotten better each week, you really do take risks with your choreography, your lifts and your spins. Some of those things I wouldn't be able to be brave enough to do. It was Harry and Aliyah who received the most votes during the semi final, as their circus themed performance earned them 97% of the audience's vote. After their routine, Odie began, You two are so beautiful to watch, I mean, it was amazing, and I almost don't recognize you without you fighting each other. That was so nice, your technique was so good, and that you could execute the softness. Matthew continued, that was just another incredible performance from you two, the thing I can say about you two throughout this competition is that you've been so consistent and that is a testament to your work. While Cheryl added, I am so proud, I don't think anyone else has had 97% yet, I couldn't be happier it's so well deserved. What makes me slightly nervous is that you're so good that I'm just like please, these people need to go through the finals they're so good. The Dane Bates Collective then stepped out for a night and day themed dance, which they performed to Florence and the Machine song Shake It Out. Getting a respective 87.1% from the audience, Odie told the troupe, I thought that was a strong and impactful performance. You know what, every week you girls come here and commit, and show your love for dance and I thought that was amazing. While the Glee star gushed, you know I love your storytelling. You tell a different story each week, this one was so carefree I loved when you lined up in the cannon and went back to front it was beautifully told. Cheryl, as their dance captain, 
then went on to say, I believe that you're the best storytellers in the competition, you really connect storyline wise, and it's easy to forget that you guys live in opposite ends of the country and get together once a week to put on a performance. The Frobacks had a box theme for their semi final dance, and performed to La Freak by Chic, which earned them a rousing 91.2% from the studio audience. Matthew went first from the judges' panel, and he showered them with compliments as he said, I thought they should have got more than 91% myself. Your first live show was incredible, last week you took a step back, but this week was frotastic. Meanwhile, Oti who critiqued the group last week for not putting as much emphasis on their performance, couldn't keep the smile off her face, as she said, Welcome back boys. I'm so happy that you were dancing a lot more, you were more yourself. She went on, you were dancing on the boxes, you were moving, you took your shirts off which we don't need to say, it was great. It was Cheryl's turn next, as she said, This is why we come to love you because you're sick dancers. Fresh dancers the choreography was jam-packed. Going on to talk about their score and joke about how they took their shirts off during their dance, she added, I think what happened with the audience is that you distracted them, the rest of the 90% were distracted. Matthew's final dance team James and Oliver had a space theme for their routine, and put on a video game inspired show which earned them 67.4%. Cheryl said she didn't think the pair make it easy for themselves, as she went on to say, I think you have been working hard this week, I think you show different sides. You showed versatility which a dancer needs, but I think you make it harder for yourselves. But well done on delivering tonight. Odie agreed with her fellow captain, as she added, The one thing about you two is I don't know what you're going to bring, you bring different styles and moves and that's what's special about you. Your choreography is full of content, but I wish you'd take stuff out of it so us and the audience can, appreciate it more. While Matthew told James and Oliver, this whole journey I've been so proud of you, you've inspired me as a dancer, and I'm hoping the country votes for you. 14-year-old Ellie was the final act to perform, and her chandelier-themed dance earned her second place with a 93.8% audience rating. Matthew who previously said he wanted to see her performer side on stage, told her, In the opening number tonight she was so fierce and giving it, and I was hoping it would translate into this performance, and it really did. After he joked that her aerials were coming straight at him, Cheryl said, I think those aerials were specifically aimed at you Matthew. Going on to talk to Ellie, she added, I think you have that rebel side in you, and it was my favorite performance from you. While Lodi said, I cannot say or put in words how proud I am of you, because I know this is so uncomfortable for you. For you to even have your hair loose was a big fight, but I love how you give a big fight every week. You put your heart and soul into it. Cheryl lost two acts at the end of the voting period, as Frobacks and Dane Bates Collective were eliminated ahead of the final. With that, Matthew's dance duo James and Oliver, Cheryl's team Harry and Ilya and Odie's group KLA and Dancer Ellie went through to the next round. After her group's elimination was revealed, Cheryl said, It's been my pleasure to have all my acts, they're incredibly talented. It's not the last we've seen of them, they are both so talented. Ahead of the final, Cheryl looked amazing in black and white sports gear as she practiced with Pasha and rehearsed a group routine with the Strictly Pros. She exclusively told Mail Online that she was thrilled to be paired with Pasha for his final Strictly dance, saying, It was very exciting, I've always loved Latin dance and when I found out Pasha was my partner I couldn't have been happier. And while she admitted her favorite Strictly pro would always be Odie, Cheryl also admitted she was nervous about the lifting elements of the dance. The routine is very exciting because it uses so many different areas of the greatest dancer studio and we all have different styles in the performance, she explained. There's always an element of nerves when you're rehearsing and being lifted by someone else as you have to trust them entirely, but with the Strictly pros it definitely felt a lot easier. Pasha has been part of Strictly for eight years, and won the show in 2014, incidentally with Carolyn. He also met now-girlfriend Rachel Riley on the show in 2013. 
The Strictly Twitter account announced the news that he was leaving on Wednesday, posting, Sadly after eight incredible series, the brilliant at Pasha Kovalev has decided to leave hashtag Strictly. Pasha, from all of us, thank you for your amazing choreography and routines over the years. You'll be sorely missed. Pasha is an incredibly talented and dedicated dancer who is much loved by his Strictly family and viewers and will be hugely missed. Since joining the show in 2011, he has competed in eight series, made it to four finals and was crowned champion with Caroline Flack in 2014. We would like to thank him for everything he has contributed to the show over the years and wish him the very best for the future. Since then it has been reported that the pros are fearing they could be axed by producers in a so-called mass call, as sources tell The Sun none of them saw Posh's departure coming. The source claimed, Posh's surprise departure means a lot of the professionals are really worried. The dancers are wondering if the new show boss is going to start a mass call and replace a lot of the current pros. They are messaging each other frantically as they try to work out what the plans are. Nobody saw Pasha leaving and the rumor mill has gone into overdrive, with everyone saying a few other names are going to be chopped, or at least announce it was their choice to leave the program.